All right guys, in this video, you'll be learning how to get clients, how to keep your clients, and where to find clients, so stay tuned. What's up guys? So, we're gonna be talking about how you can grow your business by finding the right clients. And we're gonna have a formula for that. The formula is who, okay, what, where, and how. That's the magic formula. Who, what, where, how. That's the formula for finding the perfect clients and building that lean, mean lead generation machine online, okay? Just making sure my audio is working. We're good, okay? Now, the first part is the who. I'm not gonna be going into the details too much about the who, what, and the how. It's the where we're gonna be focusing on. Actually, maybe a little bit the how. Okay, the who. First, you gotta understand who are you? Who is your company? Uh, you know, what is your ethos? What do you stand for? All these basic stuff. So I'm not gonna be getting into too much detail because this video is about actual lead generation for clients, but really, really dig in deep and crystallize your who. Then you gotta crystallize what? What do you represent? What are you about? You know, what kind of services do you offer? What kind of benefits does your product or uh, service offer? Whether that is B2B or B2C, be crystal clear on that. I better know when I go to your website what you do and what you're about. If I don't, you've lost me. Goodbye. See you later. Where? This is where we're going to be spending most of my time, or this is where we're going to be spending most of our time today. It's the where. Listen, let me ask you this. Have you done this before? You built a WordPress website or any website. You put it online. You sent out a little bit of videos. You did a blog. Sat back, relaxed, like, yes, I'm going to wait for my clients to come in. And guess what? Boom. Nothing happens. There's no clients. It's like the movie Field of Dreams. In the movie, he builds a baseball diamond and ghosts come. In reality, chirp, chirp, crickets, nothing happens. The reality is no one cares about you. No one cares about your business. No one cares about your product. No one cares about your service. You got that? Okay. So the where, this is the strategy that I teach all my clients and I've applied to all the businesses. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this isn't something that I created. This has, I have borrowed it. You know, kind of like Picasso said, Good artists copy, great artists steal. So I've stolen these formulas from successful people so I can apply it in my life and I want you to steal it from me so you can apply it in your life, in your business. Now the where. We just talked about you having your own WordPress website. Oh, by the way, if you uh, catch me glancing over, this audio thing is a little bit uh, clunky and I don't want it to stop, okay? So the where, okay? Now let me ask you this. You, as the business owner offering your service and product, you've done your DD, your due diligence on what your clients care about, on what your clients' pain points are. So let me ask you this. You know for a fact that your clients spend time online. You know they read blogs. You know they listen to podcasts. You know they listen to YouTube videos. You know they you know, listen to iTunes or Stitch, all these different things. You know for a fact they listen to because you are them. So let me ask you a question. Instead of you spending all your time and focusing all your attention on your own WordPress website, you need to go to where your clients are. You need to hunt them down, and this is where the where comes in. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to make a list of all the podcasts that you think your clients would listen to. I want you to make a list of all the blogs that your clients listen to. Finally, I want you to make a list of all the YouTube channels that you think your clients listen to you, okay? Let's recap podcast, blogs, and YouTube channel. Now, this is what I want you to do. Remember what I said with the where. Your clients are listening to podcasts already. Some podcasts may have 10,000 downloads per episode. Some may have 50,000 downloads per episode. So what you need to do is you need to become a guest on those podcasts. And I'll tell you why this is so important. Instead of you focusing all your efforts on your own website, you're gonna become a guest or guest post on other people's websites and you're gonna position yourself as an authority on those sites because remember, those sites have high amounts of traffic already and if you're coming on as a guest, 
you've already pre-validated yourself as the expert to trust. Now imagine you go on a podcast that has 50,000 downloads, and then at the end of the at the end of the interview, you say, hey, get my free course over here or get my free book, whatever it may be, it doesn't matter. Imagine out of 50,000 people that download that podcast, how many of them will actually go back to your website? The answer is a lot. A lot of them will go back to your website. And this is where the 80-20 rule comes in. 80-20 rule, the Pareto's principle. Instead of you, you know, busting your butt trying to make a million blogs a week or doing all that crazy social media mumbo jumbo, you figure out what is the 20% of effort I can do, boom, to right, get 80% return. Not the other way around. Most people put 80% effort to get 20% return. You need the opposite, 20% effort for 80% return. So basically what you're gonna do is you can hire a VA for this. I would, for example, we talk about podcasts over here, pod, Cast. I would figure out the keywords in your business, in the category of your business. So for example, let's say online stuff. We have, uh, we have mindset, we have uh, growth hacking. Uh, what else do we have? We have marketing, growth, so what, I'll put growth hacking here. Hacking, we got uh, marketing, we got all these different things, right? Yada, yada, yada. So you wanna get keywords of all your different podcasts that you think your business falls into. And basically what you want to do is you want to go on Stitcher, you want to go on iTunes, and you want to pull up, pull out the, I would say top 30 on both ends. So say you have 60, you know what, forget about it, 100. I want you to pull out 100 podcasts. And basically what I want you to do is I want you to email them and first thank them for all the value that they provide, for everything that they do. Then I want you to give value towards their community and their tribe. Maybe send them a PDF, something special for them, and ask them, are they looking for other guests? Instead of saying, I want to come on your show, ask them, are they looking for guests? It's, remember what I said before on my other video about how to promote your blog? It's about permission-based marketing. It's not about you saying, hey, I want to go on your show. Can I go on your show? Do you accept uh, submissions? So do that, and out of 100, let's say 20 say yes. Now you got 20 podcasts that you become a guest on that's gonna, first of all, give you a link back to your website, building all these massive backlinks, which is amazing, which is really hard to do any other way, and now you become an expert on that podcast, you increase your credibility, you drive all this traffic back to your website, and guess what? That is your lead generation. So that's what you do for the podcast. Now, we go to the blogs. And blogs are no different, a little bit more legwork, but basically what you wanna do with the blogs is, once again, keywords. So let's say uh, we're gonna look at, for example, content marketing over here. Uh, maybe you wanna do some coaching stuff. Uh, maybe we wanna do e-commerce for Shopify stuff. The sky's the limit, right? So you have your keywords, and basically what you wanna do is I would do uh, more than 100. I would make a list of two to 300 blogs on this and basically uh, go see if that blog accepts any guest posts and if they do, follow those guidelines of the blog post submission to a T, create the most epic, valuable content as possible, okay? And this is really key over here. Instead of you just putting your simple bio in your bio, you want to offer something special. For example, let's say my name uh, in the bio of me as a guest writer, Amir, serial entrepreneur, investor, advisor, blockchain evangelist, PS, get your free course in X, Y, and Z. That's your actual bio. And then you have a link going back to your website, which guess what? Increase lead generation. You want the emails. Emails are the highest ROI, okay? This is a lot of legwork. The podcast is a lot of legwork. I would highly recommend you hire a VA. The VA will scrape all that data, give her a template for all this, let her send out the initial content, and then it's up to you to do the secondary response after they, uh, after they send you an email, yes, no, or whatever, may, whatever the case may be, okay? So that's blogs. And then finally, we have YouTube. YouTube's a little bit more different. However, if your business is e-commerce, so let's say e-commerce, right? We got fashion, you know, we got food, we got health, we got a lot of this stuff, man. Those are your keywords over here. Go to YouTube, find the channels, and basically what you wanna do is straight out ask for collabs on YouTube. 
you know, if you find out some YouTube uh, creators in your city, call them up. Be like, listen, I want to want I want to do a collab and create epic content. You do a collab for his channel, he does a collab for your channel, and then go to the next YouTube and so forth and so forth. Build that syndicate, build that community, build that tribe of content creators on YouTube together. Remember, it's not about being solo and the lead generation getting clients online. It's about you getting your message in front of people that already have an audience. It's not you building an audience from scratch. The audience exists out there all over the place. It's up to you to stand on stage where they already exist, okay? So now, now you have all these people coming to your website. That's the where. You know, who, what, where. That's the where. And we just talked about the how by reaching out to people, blogs, uh, podcasting, YouTubing. I'm not going to go into deep right now, but I will make a part two on the back end. So once they've actually reached your site, there are key things you need to do about creating capture pages, about email capture, then doing the email marketing on the back end, then setting up calls or, or email funnels for your products. That's a whole different video by itself. So stay tuned for part two. If you want to see part two, say yes in the comments below, okay? So that's it for now. That's the first stage in the strategy of how to get clients is the who, what, where, how. Focus on the where. Become a guest on all these different mediums. Provide amazing value and that's that. It's really that easy. It's not complicated, it's not convoluted. All right guys, I'm out of here. So like I said before, comment yes below if you wanna see part two. Leave a comment for anything, it really doesn't matter. I'm actually, I have open ears, so I wanna know what you uh, have in mind or if you have any suggestions for me. And I will see you soon, peace.